Hey guys, it's me Edgar here to do my review on Star Wars The High Republic issue number one. And I'm just going to say this right now. I am very, very excited on this whole book series because this is the origins of the Jedi's. Um, I know they did a couple of novels and I will be covering it when I get them in audiobooks. So besides all that shit, I wanted to do my review and let's get this shit started. So the comic book opens where we hear a narrating of this little insect bug bugging a Padawan and she is training to become a Jedi and pretty much her master is training her to be very much a great Jedi and you see her master fighting her and you really get to know them because I love the fact that she is using the force very much like a Jedi that she needs to be and we get to know the Jedi named Keev and we also get to know her master Scare and Scare pretty much takes Keev to a group of mountains that she needs to climb and yeah let's just say things don't go so well because a bunch of bugs come down try to kill her and let's just say things don't go so well we go back to where space station in a way <laughs> i'm sorry it looks like a space station and we see yours truly yoda himself walking in and when i saw this i'm like yoda <laughs> And I love that I got lost my shit. I, I really lost my shit when I saw that shit. So pretty much we see Yoda meeting up with Master Chris and they want to talk to her on this big uh, direction that they want her to go. And one of those directions is be a the beacon. Meaning a marshal, whatever that is. I don't really care. Um, she takes it, let's just say it right now. She takes it. So, honestly, I was like, okay, whatever. I guess whatever she's going is going to be a very interesting because I'm very curious where this leads to because... I'm going to give this the benefit of the doubt, but uh, yeah, we go back to yours truly, the main character, Keeve, and she's using the Force, and she's doing a lot of crazy stuff, and she's doing a lot of interesting directions that I thought, wow, this is really cool, and she's using the Force in two ways that I really enjoy, and I really like that a lot, but overall, she goes into her ship and get the hell out of there. Then after that, when she's repairing the damage after the bugs were pretty much done doing the bullshit, uh, her master asks, where is the vector? And she's like, uh, up there, I guess. And we all know what, what happened, but, uh, yeah. Besides all that hunky-dory shit, um, pretty much they go back to base, to the Jedi space station, and Keeve meets yours truly... Jedi Master Chris and Jedi Master Chris pretty much makes uh, Keeve into a Jedi. And Jedi Master Chris makes this big speech on thousands and thousands of Jedis. And after her speech, they all raise their lightsabers and they all say, For the light and life. And that's a really good touch because that's something I. Uh, would have done if I was writing a Star Wars book because to me the force is life itself in a way and it's very much realistic and I really like that they put that in the book however I have my nitpicks number one I really wish that they kind of didn't mention the novels in a way because a lot of people are going to be scratching their heads uh okay whatever don't really care too much because if you mention stuff like that that really kind of brings more questions to people like oh what happened to that guy what happened to this and x y and z um however the book was phenomenal i really liked it a lot i fell in love what they were doing 
the way they were bringing new ideas, bringing new characters in, uh, doing the force that I really think that should be explored and stuff that I really like and new characters. That's one thing I also liked as well. New characters. We got to see new characters, fresh characters that I really enjoy and I cannot wait to see February's issue and so on a scale 1 to 10, I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. Really good issue. Really good solid issue. Definitely looking forward to uh, next month's issue, February. I'll see you guys later. Stay tuned for more Star Wars content and also the Higher Republic's uh, content as well because I'll be tackling the books as well sometime later on this year. Um, but yeah, tell me your thoughts. Love to know. I know there's a lot of people hating on this issue for whatever reason. I don't understand it. I really don't. This was a really cool issue. Um, but it is what it is. I'll see you guys later. Stay tuned for more Star Wars content. And uh, peace. Stay tuned.